the way Puccini writes music, uh, Puccini's music tells you everything you need to know. For example, the timing of the music kind of forces events to happen at a specific pace. So the times that Puccini had in mind really influences the way the story is being told. And it's a great composer, the one that can actually time the, the dramaturgy, the events of the story in a way that, that, is, that is meaningful and really tells something to the audience. The colors, the way he uses the colors of the orchestra to underline specific characters or situations. Or, of course, you know, the, the character, the, the mood of the music, all those ingredients if mastered by a great composer, tell a story in a way that it's unique and uh, you can, can be beaten by anything else. Music can tell you something that words will never be able to tell you. I think for this score, every little detail Puccini writes in this music is there. And so every note that's written, every instrument that plays a specific note tells a part of a story. And so working with the chorus, the circus performers, the waiters, and the principal artists, every little detail, every little note is motivated by an action. And it is so beautiful to take that music and infuse it into every little action we do. So whether you're watching a love duet between two principals or a massive chorus scene, every time they're selling a chestnut or an apple or a prune, it's part of the music. Specifically here at Land Opera, it is the perfect casting. We have people who are of the, the right age of Bohemians. I mean, we are young artists who are figuring out what it means to being poor artists, struggling, trying to sell our art, trying to share our stories with everybody. It is such a diverse group that brings so many different cultural backgrounds to this story. And that's real life. So good. <laughs> 